Hello everyone, this is the Twitter and today we are talking about a movie called R.I.P.D. R.I.P.D. was released in July 19, 2013 uh, and the stars were Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds. But unfortunately, it wasn't a very big hit. It, uh, its production budget was about 130 million so we can guess that it was definitely a post-production budget included. It must have uh, uh, cost their producers uh, 200 million plus but it made worldwide only 78 million 78 million means it was a total flop but uh, the thing is after I watched the movie I didn't think I just did not think that it was it should have been a flop because I I really liked the content I really liked the innovative ways that it was portrayed in and uh, Especially Jeff Bridges. I like what Jeff Bridges had, uh, a uh, cowboy-ish, very straight-looking, edgy character, and it was very innovative. The whole movie was very cool. Of course, uh, it's not every day that we see a buddy cop drama with a uh, fantasy plus uh, monster uh, spin, but, you know, n n nowadays it's, uh, it's very weird. It's very weird. Uh, the same kind of critics who say that uh, um, Marvel movies or MCU movies are really great because they add the whole uh, comedy and uh, generic uh, dumb plots but still make a good movie. Those same critics say that R.I.P.D. was a bad movie but l let me tell you this, uh, R.I.P.D. and most of MCU movies actually stand on that same level. Uh, if, I, if I'm asked to uh, give RIPD a number, then it would be around 6 to 7 out of 10. Uh, but, of course, don't make me you watch your, <laughs> make me, um, sorry, uh, make you watch this uh, movie. Uh, you, you should also learn about what the other critics have said. Uh, let's go to the our Wokey Woke site, uh, Rotten Tomatoes. So on Rotten Tomatoes, we can see that it is it has been given only 13 percent on the tomato meter, but the audience score is higher, about 38 percent. Of course, uh, the original buzz was killed by completely killed by the tomato meter, or should I say, say the critics or pseudo critics, the, whichever you would like to call them, and. Here, here are some reviews of the pseudo critics. Uh, a goofy derivative supernatural action adventure based on a comic book series by Peter Lincoln. Of course, uh, this kind of reminds the movie uh, Men in Black. But again, Men in Black and this movie are too much different. They don't have flying cars. They don't have a lot of things. Uh, the technology and everything. Uh, uh, here's another guy. Uh, saying, I watched this movie with three chatty strangers on a Thursday night in an otherwise empty theater. Universal could, couldn't could say no. Looks like that's our job now. Uh, but there is one good guy who says, says something uh, named Ben Sachs. Just spends little time on exposition, uh, exposition and doesn't go in for any false pathos. Compared with most recent comic book movies, yes, exactly what I said. Uh, if you compare the movies, uh, the comic book movies, MCU films with R.I.P.D., then I would say, I would guarantee you that R.I.P.D. is exactly on the same level as MCU films. This spends little time on exposition and doesn't go in for any false battles compared with most recent comic book movies. This is lean. Uh, unpretentious filmmaking and to my taste a lot more fun for it uh, like I said it was very fun for me too so yeah if you like uh, special effects uh, added um, humorous uh, comedy movies go for R.I.P.D. go for R.I.P.D. Get, get, get this movie on Netflix or somewhere and watch it it's a great movie if you have a good sense of humor and some action uh, loving <laughs> nature, but uh, here's another guy, Stephen Boone. Stephen Boone is writing for RogerEbert.com, but of course, we, as we know, that uh, Roger Ebert died in 2013, and ever since then, 
some crazy people have taken over the website, but uh, I would say that Stephen Boone has given one by four. One by four means uh, really, really less. <laughs> But uh, oh, it's okay. I, I would say that uh, he can give it around two by four. But uh, let's go for it. Uh, there's that silly giddy moment in Men in Black. He directly uh, launched it up with the Men in Black movie. Uh, there's that silly giddy moment in Men in Black where government agent Tommy Lee Jones Stepan is a tricky partner with Smith. You need to relax. Learn to relax. Take some uh, joy in your work. They happen to be driving upside down in the roof of a tunnel at about 1,000 miles an hour while Smith takes out. It's funny because director Barry Sonnenfeld, uh, his actors, his editors, and his effects people knew something about Tony Kain. Uh, Robert Swint, Swint, Swint Cage, uh, R.I.P.D., which wants to be the new Men in Black, uh, a free stop special effects comedy was has awful, awful timing. Uh, the only accurate time pieces in this adaptation of Peter M. Lenkov's comic are Jeff Bridges and Mary Louise Parker, who play dead cops working in the afterlife version of a police station. They have shots worthy of Howard Hawks screwball comedy, but they are trying to give color and snap to dialogue. Hawks uh, wouldn't have been caught dead in directly. Uh, Bridges and Parker are fun to watch. Uh, of course, the, the the girl, the brunette girl, and uh, Bridges' uh, uh, small time comedy. It, it, it's very uh, brief. The, the, their comedy is very brief, but uh, it's fun to watch. Uh, she's a spin on the film. Uh, sassy office brunette from the progressive <laughs> insurance commercials. He is basically undead rooster Cogburn from True Grit again, cocking his cowboy hat to the side and working wonders with his eyebrows, facial hair, 19th century mullet, and ill fitting dentures. There are several extreme close ups of uh, Mr. Bridges in the midst of some ridiculous action number, his ratty gray hair flying, his eyes huge and ablaze with mud. Uh, the, the way they were when he floated under the skirts of bowling Valkyrie in the big Lebowski. <laughs> uh, the big Lebowski was a uh, image, Images of Jeb Bridges uh, enjoying himself are almost enough to make a movie work. RRPD does its best to stop him dead in his tracks. Uh, so yeah, RRPD kind of uh, tones down uh, Jeb Bridges' uh, uh, comedy uh, style, but uh, again, I, I think it was pretty good, it was pretty good. Uh, th there are some flaws, there are some loopholes, like uh, why did uh, Kevin Bacon give the gold part uh, to Ryan Reynolds at the first place if uh, he needed the gold part for himself? Uh, that one twist, that one thing, that just doesn't make sense. Why would he kill exactly? Why would he kill Ryan Reynolds? Uh, uh, and why would he give that uh, goal card uh, to him uh, in front of the movie? Uh, it's completely uh, not understandable. But uh, if you like action comedy, go for it. Uh, the modern special effect comedy is one of the toughest hybrid genres to pull off. Of course, uh, with the special effects and CGI competition going on, it's uh, very tough to be original. But again, I would say that this was uh, pretty creative on the CGI team. Alongside Men in Black, uh, there are a handful of fun ones such as Gremlins, Beetlejuice, Ghostbusters, and Bill and Ted's excellent adventures. But pleasantly mediocre ones include The Mask, Jumanji, The Adam's Family, and Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean has always been awesome, except for the last part. The last part was, was so stupid. At the bottom of the barrel are things like Baby Geniuses, Little Man, and blah blah blah, and Kung Fu Hustle. Kung Fu Hustle is also a great movie. Uh, so these are the kind of movies, or should I say the special effects added comedies, uh, that RIPD is a part of. 
Or uh, Arthur is mostly loud and graceless, this guy says, Stephen Boom says, Arthur is mostly loud and graceless. <laughs> loud and graceless, despite some arresting hyperbolic visuals that deserve an action film of actual soul and purpose, it's simply too generic at heart to justify director as uh, uh, delivers sidewinding, uh, arcing choreography, less a virtual camera poke around in otherwise still images of uh, explosions and gun battles. Uh, well, why wouldn't, why would you hate a movie with explosions and gun battles in a cop drama? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, I mean, I think if you have a cop drama, then uh, you should like those things, right? But of course, this guy says that uh, uh, all of these are too jarring and too much loud and graceless, uh, uh, and their anti-gravity the camera work doesn't work. Uh, I mean, this guy is making just he doesn't have the taste of this movie of these movies. But of course, his own friends probably watch the MCU movies and go, "Whoa, that was a good movie!" Uh, but let me tell you, this is still much better than the MCU Hall Watch and you, you can uh, watch it uh, I think on Netflix or some other place you can uh, get a DVD or something but uh, yeah, uh, th th this was a good movie uh, he ends it with saying how many film titles can I mention in one review I'm going, to, going for the record anything to avoid thinking about this movie which mostly punishes thought punishes thought dude you are a thought <laughs> it has fits of inspiration reminders that we are dealing with talented people simply having a bad year uh, okay dude you're making me even think uh, you are awful uh, uh, again RITD is just another movie where the critics went, uh, got it completely wrong uh, I can I can see some of the uh, Google reviews here and uh, the third guy says the critics couldn't have been more wrong about this movie this has all the best elements of a good cop movie uh, RTD says that is uh, one of the one of those films that I personally enjoy but I know where the hate is coming from it is a Men in Black castle uh, though extreme derivative of Men in Black RTD is a classic buddy cop film with a supernatural boost in spin this is it for today. Uh, we'll be back with more reviews and more things. Uh, go and watch our TV, <laughs> of course, at your home. And uh, I, I think it should it should have made better money. Uh, IMDb, IMDb, of course, gets it 5.6 by 10. Uh, so, yeah. Peace.